You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network. Happy Monday, good people. This is always a point and intention of providing something that I feel is a clarity of mind. We are on week 22 of our 25 Motivational Tips series, the Supercharger 2024. And guys, we are clunking right on into 2024. It's moving rapidly. And I uh, wanted to just give one big account on how amazing this journey has been so far. And uh, we're winding it down. And today's uh, conversation is about setting the goal and executing it. And it's, it's so funny. I was looking over my talking points and it made me think about how uh, so many times we will have things that we desire to do, but if we don't write them down, it's sometimes hard to track them or to, to remember the things that you have fresh in your mind. So one of the things I've learned to do heavily, uh, I have I'm an iPhone user, so I use my notes constantly to jot things down, to make little notes and, and, and statements, and then, uh, you know, find my way into working them into whatever goal-centered focus point I have. And it's it's just a wonderful process to know that you can, cons- you know, think of something and have a consumption of thought and then see it come to the uh, point of being unfolded. And I think that that is pretty much what setting set, you know, setting this go- setting a goal and executing it means it, it, it primarily uh, evolves around intention. And when you have your intentions clear, it's amazing how much you can do. And uh, a lot of us are being witness to some amazing things that somebody sat still, thought about, had an aha moment, and decided that they wanted to bring it forth. So, guys, you know what time it is. It's Monday, and it's time for Sunday's Money Motivation. Let's go. Welcome to Loudmouth Radio Network. My name is Sunny. As a former professional athlete turned entrepreneur realtor and the producer of Loudmouth Radio Network, I look forward to bringing content to you that empowers, inspires, and entertains you. Tune in each week as we have unscripted and unfiltered talks from entrepreneurship, real estate, politics, entertainment, comedy, LGBTQ topics, day-to-day life, and everything in between. All shows available on demand 24-7 on your favorite podcast platforms. Santa Center to Mecla Valley areas and throughout the Inland Empire. Are you looking to become a homeowner in 2024? Register today for the new home in the New Year seminar hosted by So by Sunny. Let's get you from rental to homeowner in the new year. Get the latest insight of down payment assistance programs, whether you purchased a home before or purchased them for the first time. We want to make sure you're provided with the necessary information needed for you to buy your new home in 2024. Look forward to seeing you there. Diamond Valley Lodge, the one-of-a-kind, unique, exotic dining experience for the whole family. Have dinner with real tigers at Diamond Valley Lodge's 100% safe, unique dinner party experience. Ever dine just feet away from a majestic Bengal tiger? Now you can. A magical evening under the stars with open-air seating in an exotic zen garden. Just feet away from some of the most majestic creatures on the planet are crown jewels of nature. Dinners are served on Friday and Saturday, brunch on Sunday. Reservation only by calling 855-9-TIGERS or 951-390-2670 or visit diamondvalleylodge.com. Hi, I'm Hector Calvillo of J&H Automotive, located at 611 West Florida Avenue in Hemet, California. We are a full-service automotive repair shop where you can always expect to receive the highest quality repairs, fairest pricing, best customer service in the industry. My brother George and I grew up watching our dad work on classic cars as a backyard mechanic. His hard work ethic and dedication led us to opening up J&H Automotive in 2009. We started out with a 500 square foot repair shop and we have consistently grown over the past 15 years to our new 10,000 square foot repair facility in the heart of Hemet. 
We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Call 951-766-5999 to set an appointment for all your automotive service needs. All right, y'all, we're going to get right to it. We are talking about set the goal and execute it. And one of the first things that I may mention on this, uh, this aspect of thought was to log down two to three things you want to do. And I, I, I tend to encourage small doses that can equal to bigger, um, bigger bullet points. And the reason for that is because I feel like we're already overwhelmed with so much stuff. I think that there's a high level of activity uh, happening in our brains, around our bodies, in our atmospheres constantly. So it's easy for stuff to get muddied up, I think. And so with that being the case, I encourage those who are um, actively looking to, um, you know, kill some goals, like really hit your goals this year to start out with two to three. And then you want to make sure that you just get to them because literally it's so easy to write down things and and jog things down and journal those things. But when do you take the time to come back to them? So I think it's, it's, it's a two part part that you want to jot them down and put them down. But then you also want to set a point of engagement. When are you going to start processing these things that you have wrote down? Then I, I think the next thing is important is to put an asterisk to the two most driven goals of desire. And, you know, for you, you may have a couple of things, but I say minimally put two of the most desired things that you want to do, because sometimes people are carrying a lot of weight, responsibility, uh, day to day activities. Their jobs may be heavily in the bank, you know, heavily demanded. And um, if you complicate that with uh, other people, children, spouses, pets, um, jobs, uh, and, and you're trying to have a social life maybe in there somewhere, um, even just time for yourself, there's always things that is vying for our attention. So it's so important that we make the priorities matter as it comes to our goals, because really we're the center of that universe. And if we're not you know, making our priority of ourself with those things, then I promise you it will get to a point that you'll never see them through. And I think that's what people find discouragement and they start giving up on themselves or they kind of put it away or pack it away and they never get back to it. And um, I think it was Les Brown that said, there's a lot of, you go to the, to the cemetery, there was a lot of dreams and, and desires that is impossibilities, but they're all in the ground. So let's not let that be us. Right. Um, Decide and prioritize one short term and a long term goal that you can complete within six months or less. And I think that that, uh, you know, you can even if you have some ability to maybe even maybe compartment it over four parts of the year, maybe three months, you you establish uh, a baseline of what you're going to do in in part of that one particular goal. Then six months in, you want to be at this point with it. Nine months in, you'll have this much. And by the 12th month, you'll have a whole year under your belt. And hopefully you've executed, if not just that one, but other other things too. Um, And I know it may sound uh, like stretched out, but trust me, when you have a lot of things going on, it is easy to um, forecast things, but it's not as simple to execute them if you're not really actively sticking to a plan or, or making a plan. So one of the things that I find myself provisioning is, um, matter of fact, I'm, I'm reading my talking notes out of my journal book, my, all, my, my task all book. <laughs> it ain't even a journal book. It's like a task all book. So all kinds of notes and things go in there. And I just try to dump my brain into it uh, a lot of times. And then my phone also holds another level of of stuff. And it could be that they may, and this is one of the things I think that's cool, guys. Y'all tell me if y'all ever had this experience. So let's say you have a notebook or or a, a notepad, a journal or something, and you're writing your stuff in there, right? And then you have another device, like I, I mentioned my phone. And if, 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 if what you feel that desire is so strong and if it's consistently showing up, meaning that it may be in your book that you wrote months ago, maybe years ago, and then you have another device or another book 
that you're writing out some of the things that you desire. And I, I, I challenge you to go back and look at them because most times those things that are really, really important to you, they're going to keep showing up and they're going to keep, you know, kind of poking you in your mind. And, and then that voice may say, yo, you, you know, you want to do this and you should do this. So one of the cool things is guys that you can see a documentation trail of repetitiveness, meaning that that's that thing or whatever it is has a significance to you. And it's something that is egging you to do or to be or to be present or to, uh, you know, try to accomplish it or establish it, something because it keeps showing up. And it's really a part of something that is truly important to you. So, guys, uh, this is so funny. Today I was talking to one of my nieces and she was telling me, you know, Auntie, I got, you know, this 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 project that's been something I wanted to do. And I said I shared something with her today and I guess it gave her an aha moment and it made her spin around and say, yeah, that's something that I, I, I've been wanting to do. And I just encouraged her to do it, you know, take take the time and. You know, put it put it in the forefront and, and, and make it a priority because it's your priority. Only you know what is within your soul and in your mind and in your heart. We can talk about it all day. You can share with other people, but nobody understands the depth of what that looks like, feels like, or how it matters to you except you. And, you know, I've, I've for myself, I have personally got to a point of re- um, kind of re reestablishing how for many years I used to be, I used to really not talk a lot about certain things that I was doing. I just would really implement them, whether they were being tested out, uh, imp- you know, actually put into a position to be um, executed or, you know, planning it out. And if it was something that needed to be scratched or reworked, I would just do that. And then most times by the time it was ready or prepared to, to come forth and come into light, I would start talking about it, right? And what I found is, you know, when I reflect on that, it made me realize just how much I used to get accomplished because of, that was just the way that I moved. And, you know, I called it my ninja. <laughs> I used to move like a ninja. And in that in that sense of um, locking in, focusing on what I wanted to do, getting it, and, and was busy working on it. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to talk about it the same, you know. Um, now I, I, I've been talking a lot for a, a, quite a long time for a living, <laughs> right? This loud mouth been moving a long time. And so I'm just very blessed to know that I could, you know, allow the, 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 the waves of my voice to come across the mic into your ears, uh, to be heard across the world and, uh, to, to be able to give resignation of, um, of just thinking about it and doing that is the thing. You, you don't want to just have it in the in the in the waves of your brain and not being put forth into action. So the other thing that I think is good is that uh, we talked about that six months and then that year. Um, I, I have this thing and I've said this before, I'm sure on some other show content that I've always had this tendency um, at the, you know, at the conclusion of a year. And it doesn't necessarily mean December. You know, I, I want to say really about this time of year and probably mid part of the year. I would kind of evaluate things that I said that I wanted to do accomplish the year before and and then look measurably at what I've done and how how close or how much did I complete did did this sustain the the initial um process or did it fade out you know or did I put it to the side because it wasn't time for it to come forth and uh I want to retract it back and I've done that a lot the radio network I remember uh, in 2010, I think it was, I had, um, was, was emceeing a, a friend of mine's parties and stuff like that and said, yo, I want to really pursue, you know, I've, I've, I've always wanted to, to really stay in, in the realm of comedy and stuff like that. And, um, I always have these transitional states of, 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 of trying to work in my gifts and passions. Right. And so, uh, within that year's time, I actually started, you know, doing networking events with, with comedy elements and had a huge comedy event in Atlanta, outside of Atlanta. And, and it led me to opening up my comedy club. And I remember, um, Rodney Perry was, uh, doing his thing a lot and he was doing his radio shows and stuff quite often. And he was, um, one of, one of a few people that made me uh, really, you know, want to put forth that that combination, 
And so my work schedule was so crazy with the club that it was hard to do everything, managing, booking, uh, handling the marketing and elements and stuff like that. So I had to condense my responsibilities. And so once I actually closed the club, I actually went full throttle on the radio. I came back to the radio side of it. And at that point in time, there was other personalities that had interests. And so it just, it just became the rest is history, but it just goes to show you how, uh, you know, this is 2024. So over 14 years ago, um, I, you know, I wanted to, to, to kind of come into this threshold and technology has advanced for us, thank God. And so over these years, it has allowed me to just continue to keep, you know, building and stretching, expanding my wings. And so for me, guys, as I conclude today's uh, conversation, I definitely encourage you. Uh, to set the goal, execute it, and you know what, stand back and look at it and know that you did it and and, and know that you're able and capable of being everything that you desire for yourself to be. Now, y'all go and be great. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. You're listening to the Loudmouth Radio Network.